Hi everybody, Elliot Barian, your resident road safety expert from Mobility Engineering, back again for another Q&A. Thank you very much for sending us in your questions, we love answering these questions. Um, I'm super passionate about road safety and making sure everyone is safe, so I just love getting these questions and finding out the answers and giving you the right info. So, um, and actually, before I get into the question, never forget the uh, famous subscribe pillow. So please hit the button that looks something like this down there somewhere. We'd love to get your support as a subscriber. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, we'd be very excited when that happens. So uh, please get on board and subscribe and we'll get more and more great videos and great content out to you and um, feel good stories and, stories and so on. So let's get into today's question. So today's question is hot off the press, came in this morning. I have two questions about behavioral or five point harnesses for cars. So in general, we're talking about um, harnesses that are either behavioral or five point. They're all pretty much the same. Um, all the harnesses that we supply anyway to the market work in the same system. I thought I'd use this particular one, which is not necessarily a five point, it's a vest harness. However, it is the easiest way to show, um, because it doesn't have as many moving parts, it's the easiest way to show sort of how the system works. So, what they're asking about is, can it be fitted to the back seat of a car or just the front seat? And is it compatible with other security fittings such as a buckle guard or a Houdini strap? So, the first thing is, in terms of it being, um, in terms of five point harnesses being, I guess, uh, compatible with things like a buckle guard or a Houdini strap, definitely. So, with the Houdini strap that goes across the chest, um, it depends on the harness, so with the five point harnesses, most of them that we supply, you may not actually need it because um, they, a lot of them have already that feature built into the, the, the system. Um, and the other one, the buckle guard, definitely, we actually sell buckle guards ourselves and I'll put a link um, to that information on where you can get them downstairs, uh, down in the, sorry, not downstairs, but in the links below. Um, and also I will, um, uh, and yeah, we also make buckle guards for all different types of buckles for all the harnesses as well. So buckle guards is definitely not a problem. So the question around can it be fitted to a back seat or a front seat and so on. So the first thing I will do is I'll actually explain to you the, I'll just put my pillow away, my precious pillow. Um, I'll explain to you the way these harnesses work because the way a behavioral postural harness works and i'll put a link to the note um to the page or the website where you can get more information and also there's a couple of other videos we've done around this so i'll put a link to them below as well just so you can do some more background research but basically the harnesses the way they work is they work in conjunction with the seatbelt, right? So that is very, very important to understand. That seatbelt is the number one most important primary restraint in your vehicle, right? So with or without a harness, we're always using the seatbelt. So we need to make sure that that is the case. Now, in all of the harnesses that come from mobility engineering and most of the harnesses that are on the market, or what we, we, that from what we understand, work in a system similar to this. So what they do is they wrap around the seat. So what's being asked is, can this fit in any seat? So first of all, I'll show you how it works here. So in this case, let's pretend this is a, an office chair, but let's pretend that this is a car chair, like a front seat, or like a second row Kia Carnival seat, like a captain seat, like a, a single seater. So in this seat, you've got a gap down the bottom there that I can fit my hands through, right? Now, most car seats and all of those seats that I just mentioned, like the front seat or the seats um, that are single seaters, they've also got that gap. And the way this thing works is this actually wrap goes, tucks in through that gap, wraps around the back of the seat, comes and clicks on, and actually that ties into the seat, right? So I'll demonstrate to you how that works. So that basically gets pushed through like so. Then I'll lift that up around. I'll strap that up, you can tighten it, and that's basically how my harness will sit, right? And it's strapped around there, and as I said, we must always put that seatbelt on, right? So the question has been asked, can I put this in the back seat of a sedan? So that is where it can get complicated, because as you can see, it wraps around the seat and it needs that single seat or that empty seat. By the way, it has a strap like that, or the same product can also be offered in a strap that goes round the seat like that. It'll have two straps, horizontal straps. So if you can't have that gap down the bottom, then, and you've got a single seat like that, you can actually strap it around like that as well. All right, so that's one option. The other thing is with the sedan, there, it's a case by case basis. So you need to go and come and see us or one of our resellers or dealers. And what we'd have to do is um, look at the vehicle and look at the access. 
because essentially if you can't wrap around that seat which in some sedans or a lot of sedans you can't because they've got metal structure then there is a small chance that what you can do is you can sort of cut little holes in the structure little holes there and little holes there to feed the strap through and get around but that just depends on if we can get access through the boots or whatever and if we do do that that is a bit of a compromise to how it was originally designed so what it means is that the usability of it might be a little bit more challenging so it means that you have to probably go into the boot of the sedan and tighten up the strap from behind because you can't access that from the, the front of the vehicle. Still doable, I'm, I'm always the type of person that says anything can be done, if you want to do it, let's, let's work together as a team to make it happen. So basically, I think it's possible in a lot of sedans or in some sedans, uh, but it's a case by case basis. You need to get the sedans looked at, you need to see, can we cut an access hole big enough, but still remain safe enough for the structural integrity of the vehicle to allow this to go through? And will there be access all the way down and then can we cut an access hole to come through on the way back out? If that can be possible and that can be done, then that'll work and then we put our seatbelt around the front and away we go. But in that case, you need to go and look at one of our dealers or come to us and we can assess the vehicle and see if that's possible. So hopefully that explains to you how this whole system works and whether or not it can fit in your vehicle. And maybe from this video and you look at the system, you can see, yeah, it might work or it may not. As I said, if you think it doesn't work, please contact us because our view is always, there is always a way, you know, so we want to always try and explore every single option and we've been in this industry for a very long time. So there's many, many options that we've come across that, you know, we are like, oh my God, someone thought of that. So the point is, is that uh, there's always options out there. So please contact us if you think you don't meet the requirements and we can see and we can investigate and we can try our best to see if we can make it happen. Hopefully that helps with your information around the uh, behavioural and postural harnesses. Uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, thank you for hitting that subscribe button that looks a little bit like this. We'd love your support. Please hit that subscribe button and any questions you have, please fire away. We love answering those questions and we'll see you next time. Thank you.